here at Chilka's Roof Graphics, when we supply at new staple heads, we do supply a picture-based sheet detailing how to do it. But we do appreciate that some people don't go with instructions, it's easier to see a video. If you're one of those people, grab a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and we'll get started. Firstly, staple heads themselves don't last forever, sadly need changing from time to time. Uh, one of the common problems that can uh, damage the heads is if there's a staple jammed up in there and many people think they can just keep hitting the foot switch over and over and eventually the staples will come out. Well sadly no they won't come out, you'll just make matters worse. Um, the other common problem with these staple heads is people use the cheap office staples that are designed for hand stapling not electric stapling. They're very soft metal and they do tend to crumple up inside. That's another cause of um, damaged heads, apart from the wear and tear. Now to actually get the old head out, it's quite easy, either an eight mil spanner, or you should have one of these in your kit when you've got it. And you should also have one of these little tools. Firstly, to remove the head, all that you have to do is two little eight mil nuts on the back and you only have to undo them maybe one turn each side you don't have to take them a common mistake is people think they have to take those two nuts completely out and you don't you'll see why as soon as I get it out you just pull it out roll it over pull the plunger up just to get it out there you can see why this it's actually a slot in the back, so you don't have to take the nuts out completely. Easy to remove. Got the anvil there. To put a new staple head in, which I have here. Have a new staple head. To get it back in, we're going to flip it over the anvil and round. What we're then going to do, this little plunger, I'm not sure if you can see that on the video, we're going to have to hold that plunger up and insert the head like so. So the plunger is on top of the staple head. What we can then do is open the staple drawer, insert the special little tool that you will get with a new stapler in the bottom there, push down so it locates over the anvil. Just hold it down in the down position either on the plunger on the front bit there. We can then just lightly tighten up the two eight mil nuts on the back. You don't have to do them too tightly to start with because in my experience it's rarely right, 100% right on the first go. Of so genuine rapid staples, 66 stroke six, and the six mil is six millimeter leg length, the length of the leg. They'll also take 66 sevens, and you can guess what the seven will be, and they also do 66 eight pluses, and the eight plus is 8.5 millimeter leg length, which means you can do 50 sheets on edge stapling of normal 80 gram copier paper. If we just get one strip out here. And so into the magazine, put the power on. And just do a couple of staples. And we can inspect how good the staple is. It's not 100% perfect. You can see there it's at a slight angle. It should be perfectly down. You don't want it this way or that way, heel or toe in. Like I said, you rarely get it perfect first go. Sometimes you might be a little bit left or right as well, so the fold over will be a little bit bigger than the other one side to the other. In that case, turn the power off. And what we'll do, just undo it a little bit.
remove the staples, insert a little positioning tool and we can just try it again if you can remember which way it's going heel or toe we can just pull forward or go back a little bit and lock it up again if you don't have this tool you can still do it just lock that up if you don't have this little tool you can visually see the anvil the staple head coming down on the anvil just by a visual check so you just literally have a look you're just lining it up nice and even again forwards or back it might take might take you two or three goes to get it correct let's just have a look and see if we're any better this time turn the power on turn the power on at the machine and i'll just do a couple of staples And we can see it's still it's pushing in this time so we've gone in a little bit too far right so third time lucky so about three staples and yes that you can see that's much better nice and even nice and straight going through we're happy with that once you're happy with it turn the power off again and just check that you tighten both sides up like so make sure we're nice and tight there uh, another little tip if the staples do jam in there quite often we see people get screwdrivers out and start getting a screwdriver in there if I get this spare head trying to prise them open and it, it doesn't help you just do more damage to the head what happens is once the plunger is jammed in the down position you can't get the drawer open because the staple driver is holding it closed the only way that it would be possible as you can see there's about a fingers gap at the top you have to push that plunger up to have any chance of getting a drawer open so a screwdriver no no that won't do it at the bottom of this video just click on the arrow facing downwards and we'll put a couple of links on there to make it easier if you want the direct link to the website for ordering a new staple head or if you want a link to the stapler or a link to the staples we put a link to the staples there to make it easy for you thank you for watching and give yourself a pat on the back if it works